Hello, everyone. The impact of the coronavirus is hitting close to home. There's 72 people in Madrid, Spain right now on a spring break trip. They're from Midland Christian High School. Spain is one of the European countries President Trump announced would be banned from flying into the U.S. starting Friday. 55 students, 17 parents, and teachers have spent the past 12 hours scrambling trying to get back to West Texas safe and healthy. News West 9, Sammy Steele FaceTimed one of the teachers on the trip. Talk about an unforgettable spring break. It was just a wild, hot mess. 72 students, parents, and teachers from Midland Christian are Madrid, Spain, on what was supposed to be an educational week in the historic city. But instead, they're getting a lesson on what it's like to travel during the peak of the coronavirus pandemic. And it's a ghost town. I mean, there is like nobody on the streets. It is almost eerie. Right now, Spain is the second hardest hit European country, with nearly 3,000 cases of the virus confirmed. Panic. There's just panic on the part of everybody. Especially parents. Boy, my heart breaks for those poor mamas and daddies who said, sure, Midland Christian School, take our most precious, cherished possession on the face of the earth, take them 5,000 miles away, show them another culture. We trust their lives into your hands. Oh, and by the way, if you could bring them home safely, that would be nice too. And then here we are stuck in the middle of a world crisis I get it. I think I'd probably be freaking out a little bit, too, if I were on the other end of things. My fellow Americans. President Trump's travel suspension from Europe only added fuel to the panic. There was fear the group would be stuck there for 30 days if they didn't get home before Friday. American residents will not be under the restriction. We will be allowed to, to travel back home. And so there was this big sigh of relief. The group is planning on flying back Saturday, and after they land in Dallas, they will take a bus back to Midland. Though what happens after that? Still up in the air. The question of quarantine has not been ruled out. Then once we finally arrive at our destination of Midland, I just don't know. I don't know how these poor 10th graders and 11th graders are supposed to be quarantined in their own homes without either A, giving it to a parent or a sibling, or B, um, uh, not having any human contact for two weeks. I mean, for now, the group has moved around activities and are planning on spending the rest of their trip near their hotel. They're making the best of an uncertain situation. In Midland, Sammy Steele, News West 9. Dean's wife is on the trip. She is a nurse at Midland Memorial Hospital in the Infectious Control Department. As of now, no students are showing any symptoms of coronavirus. And tell us they do not think about canceling the trip beforehand. We will continue to update you when the group gets back to Midland and what the plan is for quarantine.